hi guys welcome to my channel uh, today I'm going to be showing you the products that I use on my hair and please know that the products will not be in a particular order I'll just grab any product that is next to me and I'll show it to you guys it's actually a lot of products and I'm hoping by all means that this won't be a very long video but anyway let's get started okay so this is one is the ultimate blends shampoo uh it's a shampoo, nourishing repair shampoo i've been using this one since last year that was actually um uh, before cutting my hair uh, i really like this shampoo it it leaves my hair very soft and it cleans the the, the hair very well and yeah but uh, I, I never really finished it because I literally have a lot of shampoos and I've realized that I don't have to buy any shampoos for this year at all <laughs> and then this one here is the Tresemme um, Tresemme um, Luxurious Moisture for dry or dull hair shampoo and um, I use this on my hair, like my natural hair, and also on my wigs. It cleanses my hair and my wigs, and yeah, I like the smell as well. So yeah, at first I used to think this one was for like white people's hair, kind of. But then I realized it actually does work on my hair, and it works really, really well. However, if you are a person that... Um, doesn't like shampoos with sulfates in them you may not want to use this one but it's up to you as, uh, of course because um, it has sulfates in it and uh, for some people it might be drying and um, the other product is this Tresemme um, um, moisture rich luxurious moisture for dry or dull hair conditioner I really 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 love this I use this on my hair and on my wigs as well so I use this almost all the time like every time when I want to condition I put the, sometimes I do put it on my um, hair spritz as well and um, yeah I really like it the next product guys guys this is like this is a go-to for me i use this every day okay this one has like lots and lots okay it's called the star soft road two in one special blend uh moisture and conditioning lotion activator this i've been using ever since i went natural in 2008 like guys I don't know if I'd ever be able to live without this one. I tried to live without it for a while, but I came back to it. This one has lots and lots of glycerin in it. So if you're a person that likes to use glycerin, you might want to try this one. But then it's up to you. I really, really like it. It leaves my hair very soft. However, the disadvantage about this product is that it ha the, the fact that it has too much glycerin um it um it attracts too much more too much moisture into your hair and as a result your hair might shrink so if you want to try using this one you might have to be very very careful of how you use it because you might end up weighing up your hair too much with moisture and your hair my mind might um lack some protein so it's better if you balance the use of this so i i never use this one directly um from the bottle so i always put this one on my moisture spritz and yeah mix it with water and olive oil this i love guys like it's my everyday yeah i really really i'm very much in love people that know me would know how much i always recommend this but yeah um this product guys the afro botanics um it's nehanda moisture rising leave in conditioner uh i have a 
love and hate relationship with this product. I also had this product since um, last year, since I was uh, before cutting my hair. Um, they claim that it detangles, protects against UV and heat styling, strengthens and repairs hair. It's, they say it's the most moisturizing and softening uh, ever. I found that this product is, yes, moisturizing. Um, I like that about it. I'm not sure about detangling though. Uh, but my biggest problem with this product is the fact that it... Um, I feel like it's very thick and if you want to use it as a leave-in conditioner it leaves that um, white residue on your hair uh, so I've had I've realized that I've had this product for a long time and I've only bought it once and I never bought it again I still have some product in it inside however uh, I think I'm not gonna it again all I'm gonna do to make sure that this one does not go to waste I'm gonna use it as a conditioner after wash and not a leave-in conditioner because I feel like if I use it as a leave-in conditioner it leaves flakes on my hair and um, yeah but then if you have used the product and you've had good results please uh, let me know on the comment sections and let other people know so that uh, maybe I can have an idea of how I can maybe use this product as a leave-in conditioner without it leaving too much flakes and residue on my hair because I feel like it promotes build up for me but yeah and then after that I have the Afro Botanics Cal Activator um, about this product, I like it. Like, I use this one as a leave-in conditioner, actually, because I tried using it as a curl activator, like putting it on my damp or wet hair, and then um, twisting my hair, and then uh, uh, undo the twist. But I realized that it didn't give me that um, soft hair thing after activating my hair my hair was would be very dry so and also it doesn't like give me the the defined curl that I always look for so I realized okay you know what just use it, use it as a leave-in conditioner and I use it as a leave-in conditioner I like it it smells good I also put it on my moisture spritz at times but I don't do it all the time but yeah it's good um, I'm not sure about purchasing it again though. I'll see. And yeah, but then I like this one compared to this living conditioner. So yeah, this one I would recommend. And then I have this Auntie Jackie's Calls and Calls Not on My Watch. Uh, Instant Detangling Therapy, guys. This product this product is life guys like I I really like it like um, I started using it like very recently actually and um, I really like it man and it's also sulfate free paraben free no mineral oil no petroleum and I like the fact that it doesn't have any petroleum in it because of, of, of in my new journey of after cutting my hair I realized that I will I want to um, limit myself from using uh, petroleum based products so I really like this product it gives me a great sleep like guys if I wash my hair and then I detangle with this product guys this product is life like I really 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 love it like it gives me the best sleep definitely gonna purchase this purchase this again when it's finished i still have a lot though in the bottle i'm sure you can see there it's still a lot i really really like this product yeah and then i have the um auntie jackie's seal it up hydrating sealing butter 
I use this to seal up my hair. So as a sealant, so I would spritz my hair with a moisture. Uh, usually I, I use this mostly I either after on wash day, most of the time I use it on wash day, so I would um, spritz my hair with my sometimes I use it on wet hair first. So I would spritz my hair with like uh, not even spritz, like put some oil with a um with a I forgot what it's called. Applicator bottle. English guys, sorry. <laughs> with an applicator bottle. So I would put an oil on my hair with an applicator bottle and then I would seal up this with this product. Uh this is how much has left and I've used it. I bought it this I bought this one in June. So yeah, it's 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 a good product. It's good for if you wanna like just wash your hair and and put it in if you want to keep your hair in braids as well like when i was I actually braided my hair on my own so when i was braiding this hair i braided on damp hair so every time i would like spritz with my moisture spritz and then put this product in to 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 seal up the moisture and then braid up so yeah i really like this one i will definitely purchase it again when i and then I have this product here. It's Alba Botanica Hawaiian Conditioner. So I bought this one last year when I was in the US. I'm not sure if they have this in South Africa though. I bought this in the US at Walmart. So yeah, I, I really, really like it. And I'm hoping that I can find it like online or something because it's a very thick conditioner like I just want to pour this on my hand just so you guys can see the consistency like it's very thick it smells so good as well it is like that you would literally swear that this is a hair moisturizer but no guys, it is just a conditioner that you use on your wash day. So yeah, I really like it guys. Like sometimes there are do those days where I don't feel like, um, I don't feel like, let's say for instance, I want to wash my hair, but I don't have enough time to deep, deep condition my hair. So I would use this as a deep conditioner. So not even as a deep coat, but to condition my hair because it's very thick. I would use this and then hop into the shower, shower quickly and then wash my hair afterwards. I really, really like it. And I'm hoping that I can get this online because I don't know when I'll ever be able to go to the US again. And yeah. And then uh, this is the Hawaiian uh, Alba, Alba Botanica Hawaiian Shampoo. I also bought this one in the US last year and uh, I bought it with this one but I feel like the I like the shampoo I like how it smells but then I don't like the the stripping of the shampoo it's a sulfate free shampoo however I feel like it's very stripping on my hair every time when I use it I feel like I it, it cleanses my hair I feel like it strips off all the the oils for my hair because my hair is left very very clean like just too clean I, I i i don't like the feeling it doesn't have that um conditioned feel after the wash so if you wanna um clean your hair and yeah you you, you know that you're ready to put enough oils back into your hair then maybe you can try this one but I'm not sure if even if I find this um, line online I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll, I'll purchase this one again but I like the conditioner though yeah and then guys this is good this is life like you don't just cook with this one this is like the extra virgin olive oil. I bought this at Pick and Pay. It's very good. And um, 
I use this on my uh, on my water water spritz. I pour it on my water spritz. So normally I use it together with the star soflo two in one. Then I pour water and then shake it up and spritz it on my hair. Especially when I now that I have braids on, I use this all the time. And also like when I wanna seal in with an oil, I use a little bit of this oil. It is great, guys. And then this I got from one of my students when they were leaving. He gave me this and yeah, this is a Tresemme uh, with coconut milk and aloe vera botanic nourish and repair. It's silicone, it's a silicone free shampoo. It's also a great shampoo but I've only used it once. Um, so I'm still gonna try and use it, but I feel, as I said, I have a lot of shampoos, so I feel like I need to finish other bottles first before I go and try. I'm not buying a shampoo this year again, so all these shampoo bottles will definitely help me throughout, carry me out throughout the year, up until next year. And then... This is another shampoo, also clean, moisturizing and softening shampoo. Guys, there's one thing that I realized about uh, Auntie Jackie's products. What I like, they smell so good. This is, guys, I like the smell. It's sulfate free, paraben free, no mineral oil, no petroleum, which is great, guys. Like, Auntie Jackie's is life. But I'm not sure though, some of their products, I feel like they very thin. As much as I'm a low por por porosity uh, person, my, I have low porosity hair, I feel like <laughs> I like thick products. I know it's not good for my hair, but yeah, I, I, I need to try and limit myself. But these are not thick, but it's good. It's a good shampoo. It cleanses your hair as as much as uh, it's sulfate free, it, it leaves your hair with that. You know, today I washed my hair and yeah, I'm ready for the next step. So yeah, I really, really like it. And also they claim that it's enriched with shea butter and olive oil. I hope you guys can actually see this because my camera doesn't have a flip screen. So I can't really see what you guys can see properly because I'm looking on a mirror on the other side, but it's not so clear. Um, this, uh, it's a hair marinade, a, um, or originals Africa's, by Africa's best, uh, hair marinade treatment for weak damaged hair. So I've only used this one once, but this one is new. I, uh, um, I got this, like the, a little bit of this from a friend recently. So I you tried it and I liked it. So I decided to buy it. So I haven't used this bottle, this 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 container, the in the product in this container. So yeah, this, so this is how it looks. I haven't used the product in this container, and um, yeah, I'm hoping that it will carry me because I liked it when the when I used it the first time. Hoping that it will carry me on my natural hair journey. And um, guys, this thing, this thing, it is Tropic Essel Living Coconut uh, Black Castor Oil Hair Food with Shea Butter. This is, guys, remember I did say that I'm trying to limit myself from using um, products with petroleum. So this is a hair food without petroleum, guys. Like, guys, have you ever seen a hair food without petroleum? Like, this is a no petroleum hair food. However, guys, this one is like, <laughs> I don't even want to laugh. It is so small. Like, it's 113 grams. And the price goes about, it's more than 100 grams. It's just too much. <laughs> Like, guys, I'm not in that point where I can, like, buy expensive. I only bought this once last year, and 
I try by all means to limit my use of it. So by the way, there's no product inside. Um, I was going to show you how it looks, but I only have like my mixture of coconut oil with um, olive oil on this bottle, on this container for, for my skin. I only use the coconut on my skin though, I don't use it on my hair. So I'll have that mixture in here because the product that was in here is finished. But this, like if there's someone that can sponsor me with this guys, like I would literally take it. It is, I love it man. It's, it's, it's life. I actually want to try the uh, Jamaican castor oil now because I really, really liked this one. So the, the ingredients in this one is organic coconut oil, black castor oil. Uh, Canaba works, palm steric acid, um, candelilla works, vitamin E, middle foam seed oil, rosemary, rosemary, neem oil, shea butter, and beeswax. Like guys, um, I really, really, really like this. The smell isn't so pleasant though. It 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 smells like it smells like raw shea butter. If 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 you've tried raw shea butter before. It smells like that it doesn't have like a good smell or anything like that and if you when you sleep you will might want to like cover your hair and maybe use a pillow a separate pillow very recommended that you use a satin or a um, silk pillowcase to sleep on or cover your hair I don't cover my head so I use a silk pillowcase because I get headaches when I cover my hair. So yeah, this guys. If you wanna sponsor me, I'm happy to take it. Guys, this this is the cable fusion oil hair grow essence. Like I love this product guys uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see but yeah I really really love the products it's uh, the cable that is infused with black castor oil and argan oil for healthy hair growth the ingredients are castor oil coconut oil argan oil olive oil peppermint oil avocado oil rosemary oil lavender oil neem oil wheat germ oil and uh, vegetable oil guys i love this product it is um an oil with a thick consistency i think because of the castor oil that it's made of and um i only use this once in a week because it first of all it is very thick and i'm low porosity so i'm trying to by all means to avoid using uh, thick products as much as i really love thick products but I'm avoiding the fact that they might just weigh my hair down but then um, I love this oil but my biggest problem with this oil though is the overwhelming um, it has this overwhelming uh, thingy um, peppermint smell like I have problems like very big problems with mint because I don't eat any pro any any anything that has mint in it like might it be a bubble gum might it be a sweet or anything like that like chocolate anything with mint because my stomach gets bloated so when I used this I remember the first day my my stomach started bloating I don't know if it was smelling the mint or was it working through my head because I, I actually applied this on my scalp and I'm not sure if it was like working, like went inside my head. And also yesterday I used this product and it did the same thing guys. Like my stomach was bloated and all that stuff. I really, really like it though. It's like, I like the consistency. It's, and it smells so good. Like the peppermint smells good. It's just too much. Like the smell is so overwhelming. And if you have it on, you might want to sleep properly because it might come into your eyes and you might it's not very easy to cover your head like with a blanket when i'm that one person that likes to cover their head when they sleep so i can't cover my head with this product on 
so that's those are the few things that I like I don't like about the product and it's also very cheap guys it's like 35 rands at clicks and at discount I really really like the product and then this I'm sure you've heard me talking about my moisture spritz like all the time so yeah this is like my moisture spritz bottle I am that person that recycles almost everything I'm sure you heard that I recycled my um, no petroleum hair food bottle for my uh, coconut oil and olive oil mixture for my skin yes I do that like when I want to create a product I don't go buying if I have something around I don't go buying empties so I always do my own find something that I can use so this used to be my body uh, spritz it used to be a body spritz um, so from also of heavenly so I just removed the paper and then I used the bottle as my moisturizer. so I usually use like water mixed water with an oil and a conditioner or a moisturizer so well, but most of the time it's usually water olive oil and the stars of protein one because yeah I really really love those on my hair and stuff or stars of protein one is my go-to on a daily basis especially when I have braids on the only time I don't use stars of protein one is when I want that defined curl and or maybe if I want my hair stretch but I don't really care much about my stretched hair now ever since I stopped using heat on my hair so I'm quite happy with my shrinked hair so yeah I that's about it for now those are the uh, products that I'm using guys conditioners shampoos and oils that I use and uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm hoping that you learned a lot from the video. If you uh, liked the video, please comment down below. Let me know what products that you use and what products that are what 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 similar products that you feel that you saw on the list of products that I have here. Let me know and then um, please. Um, like share and comment don't forget to click on the notification button so that every time when i upload a, vid a video you can be notified and um yeah that's about it guys thank you so much man and i'll see you again in my next video Mwah!